But the reason why we don't say Mashiach now is because according to the Torah, unfortunately, most people will not be on the good side, on the side of salvation, because they're not following the Torah. And this is the reason why we do what we do, in order to wake up the people, to make them realize that we need to do tshuva, in order for us to prepare ourselves for the salvation, for Mashiach, before it's too late. If we do tshuva, then the verse that David the Melech said will be fulfilled. That the goel, that the uh, the Mashiach will come in order to bring salvation to all of those people that used to be criminals. Spiritual criminals. He'll bring them salvation. Why? Because they've done tshuva. So if we do tshuva, if we repent, if we stop going against the Torah, if we stop believing that a person is God or a piece of God, if we stop doing dishonest business, if we stop worshiping money, if we stop you know, with all the pornography and the immorality and all that garbage, if we stop with the immodesty, if we start learning Torah, and start following mitzvot, while doing business, while living life, while raising our kids, but live, raising our kids and living life in a Torah way, we will be preparing ourselves for all of the horrible things that are about to happen in such a way that it won't affect us. It won't affect us. The world can blow over, but it won't affect you. Why? Because Hashem is with you. As the Torah says in the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 14, Adonai lachem God will fight your wars and you shall remain silent. This Rabotai Ekrim is critical, critical for us to know because, because if we don't have confidence in Hashem through difficult times and only love Hashem through good times, then that means we don't believe in Hashem. We believe in ourselves. So it's critical for us to be prepared and to prepare others. And Bezal Hashem, we succeed.